In Burlingame, California, hangs a sweet collection that's literally heads above the rest. Presidents, superheroes, sci-fi characters, and even emojis. The world's only Pez Museum has more than a thousand dispensers, including the very first, which looked more like a cigarette lighter. This is Pfeffermint, and when you abbreviate this big German word, you get P-E-Z. That's where Pez comes from. I never knew that. I'm glad you found out finally. 22 years ago, Gary Doss ran a computer store here and brought in some Pez candy. People got so excited that he started bringing in more and more. And the rest is Pez history. Still holds the record. In 2008, Doss's giant creation even made the Guinness Book of World Records for being the largest Pez dispenser. Well, some Pez are quite rare. There are Pez out uh, in the collectible world that are worth thousands of dollars. So we have what's considered the rarest of all Pez. It's called the Make-A-Face. It's like a Mr. Potato Head Pez dispenser. And today that is worth about $5,000. Do you plan to sell it someday? No. <laughs> I'm a collector. Those are mine. In addition to other rare Pez like the Psycho Eye, the museum also has a collection of rare toys. The museum even has an exhibit for banned toys. These toys were either not politically correct or simply dangerous like these lawn darts, or this atomic energy lab kit from 1951, which contained four jars of radioactive material. But the main attraction is still the Pez, which brings in collectors like Tom Marshner all the way from St. Louis. I saw it on the internet and have been looking to come here for a while and we're taking a trip out to San Francisco, so figured why not stop by here? And find some new Pez. There's nothing like Pez. There really isn't a product like that. It's a little toy that gives you candy. It's a perfect childhood product. And at the museum, yeah, Doss is more than happy to offer insider tips on loading. And you give it a little tug like that, it stays open. And consuming. Don't put Pez in hot tea. It doesn't taste very good. Mark New, Burlingame, California. <laughs>